this time we've got an airplane that flies 180 miles from point X at a bearing of 125. So this is the kind of bearing where we just start from due north and go clockwise. And then it's going to turn and fly at a different bearing for another 100 miles. OK, so let's start. I'm going to do this picture on a different sheet of paper. OK, so let's start with point X right here. And if I'm going at a bearing of 125, I'm starting from due north. Here to here would be 90 degrees. So it's going to be another 35 degrees past that. So that's going to put it about there. So that means it's going in that direction. And we know it's going in that direction for 180 miles. So I'm just going to draw this out here a ways and make this 180 miles. Then after that, it turns and flies at a bearing of 230 degrees. So from this point, we're going to redo the bearing so that it's 230. So from here down to here would be 180. So it's going to be another 50 degrees past that. So we're going here to 180 degrees and another 50 degrees puts us about there. So it's going to go another 100 miles at that bearing. So there's where it stops and this would be 100 miles. And this angle is 230 degrees. So what they want to know is how far does the plane end up from point X? So we want to know the distance from point X to this point. So that's going to give us a triangle. And what we're trying to find is the distance from point X to where the plane ends up. So the point is we need to find at least one of the angles in this triangle. What we're trying to find is this side over here. So I'm going to call this D for distance. We have um, these two sides, but this is not a right triangle, so we can't use the Pythagorean theorem. If we can find the angle across from this side, then we've got the two sides on either side of that. So we could use the law of cosines. So let's think about how we could find what this angle is in here. So we have a bunch of places in here where we have right angles and things like that. Um, so let's look at this one. Since we know this is 125 degrees from here to here, that means the rest of the way from here down to the due south line would be the supplementary angle to that one, which would be 55 degrees. So this whole angle here is 55 degrees. We also know in with this one, if this is 230 degrees to here, if we went all the way to here, it would be 270. So that means from here to here has to be 40 degrees. So let's think about what else we can do with this. If we go back to this one up here, if we go all the way back to what we talked about at the beginning of the semester with things like alternate interior and alternate exterior angles, if we look at this and this, these are two parallel lines. If we think about this side of the triangle being, a, well, I didn't draw that very well being a transversal, then that means that if we look at the 55 degree angle here between this line and this line, then this angle right here between this line and this north-south line is going to be the same angle as that one. Those are alternate exterior angles. So that means that angle right there has to be 55 degrees. Now we have almost everything that we need to get the rest of this angle because we really just need this little piece. So we know this whole thing from here to here is 230. That means that if we take all the rest of this, that has to add up the rest of the way to 360. So that means all of that together has to be 
360 minus 230, which is 130 degrees. And we know part this part of it is 55, this part of it is 40. And actually what we're trying to do is find this little angle in here. So really all we need to do is um, take 130 and subtract 55, and then this will give us that entire angle. Okay, so that's going to give us 75 degrees. <laughs> so that's the angle that's in here. That's one of the angles of our triangle. So if this is D, then this angle over here would be angle D, which is going to be 75 degrees. So now what we have is this angle, and we have the two sides on either side of it. The side we're trying to find is across from that angle. So this means that we can use the law of cosines. And that says if we're trying to solve for D, that means we want to put D squared over here. And then we're going to do each one of these sides squared. Add those together. Subtract two times the product of those two sides times the cosine of angle D, which is 75 degrees. Working that out, I get 33,082.51. What I really want is D, so I'm going to take the square root. To get D. So that distance turns out to be 182 miles.